Hello people of the internet. Happy Sunday. Today I'm going to talk about everything Brute Funa. <laughs> I know there's some confusion about the different types of Brute Funa pencils out there so I'm just going to make this video about what I know about Brute Funa pencils and I hope that some people find it useful. So stay tuned. Let's just get all of these out of the way first. So let's go back to the very beginning. <laughs> um, back to um, November last year, November 2020 I think it was, when I bought these pencils from Amazon. I hadn't heard of Brute Funa. I hadn't heard of La um, the Lasso Nile which is what I actually purchased these pencils as and I hadn't heard of really any cheap pencils the pencils I'd only recently got back into colouring and the only pencils I owned were Derwent Colour Soft, Prismacolor 72 set and Polychromos and I wanted a cheap set to practice with, to play with and I saw these on Amazon for £18.88, a very specific price, um, and so I bought them. And they came with, they came in this box, and they came with four, four cheapy colouring books. Um, this one is a rip-off of a Dara song book, and this is probably a rip-off of someone's book. And this is a rip-off of Joanna Bashford's book and uh, no idea whose rip-off that is but it came with four colouring books and I wasn't in expecting anything fantastic from them but interestingly when I started using them and this is what they look like I put them in a case when I started using them I really liked them and I was surprised because then I thought well I've been at the market for a long time so I'm not surprised that I haven't heard anyone talking about them because I hadn't really been watching colour tube videos or people reviewing pencils for four years, since 2017. Um, but I was really happy. I'd found a cheap set of pencils for less than £20 and they seemed to me to be as good as my polychromos and I started using them. So much so that I decided I'm going to buy another set. <laughs> for when they run out because you can't buy them open stock they're less than 20 pound so i ordered from exactly the same link as i'd pressed in october november sorry 2020 i clicked the link to buy another set to have in backup and this time these arrived these are called litchi tree uh litchi tree oily pencils but let's open these up and you can see they came in the exact same box with the exact same four uh, colouring books, same swatch sheet that says Brute Funa on it and exactly the same pencils. And just to be sure, one of the pencils that I really liked and use a lot is number 43 and I wanted to make sure I had a replacement for number 43. Let me find 43. Here it is. Here's 43 in this set. It's labelled Brute Funa as well. And you can see they are exactly the same. So, my original set called Brute Funa. My backup set came badged as Litchi Tree but are exactly the same. And they colour exactly the same. So let's just get this little sample page that I've got here tuck you under it's a bit curly and bring you down and so this is my original brute funas they're really nice and smooth really nice and soft really easy to use i'm not coloring this in any magical way i'm just coloring it to show you and then this is the backup set, exactly the same, exactly the same pencils that came in a box marked Dichichi. Just a smooth, same colour, 
same numbers, easy to use. I was happy with that. I had a backup, great stuff. And interestedly, when I bought these ones, these was on a special deal. They went down, let me just put them in to stop the crackling. They went down to £16 and 99p. So they were actually a little bit cheaper. So, got my backup set. I was happy. I was good to go. Then, early in the year, people started talking about Brute Funa. And more different packs appeared underneath the same item number or under the name Brute Funa. First of all, this set. And then also this set. Now this set looked really different on the picture, but this set looked very much the same. And they went down to a very cheap price of 11 pounds and 89 pence. And it was at the same time that I was actually buying the 120 set. And I thought, well, I wonder if this set has got number 43 in it, because if this set has got number 43 in it, that's all I really need. It'd be nice to have some duplicates of the other colors. But when this set came, this set didn't have number 43 in it. <laughs> and the colors are so different. There are a few greens in here, quite a few greens. And these are much brighter colors, bright poppy colors. And if we go back to my original set, none of the colors are, are, are like this candy neon colors. But let's have a look if any of the greens are the same colour. We've got 72, 14, 9, 26. All my greens are in here. And we haven't really. We've got 32, which looks a bit like that minty one there. But it's a different number. So this seemed to be a separate set. But the pencils... The pencils were just as nice. Let's take a green out. Let's zoom you down. Get you nicely zoomed in so you can see. And you can see these feel exactly the same. They feel exactly the same as the other brute funers. So clearly they're made in the same factories and this is either a subset or a different set or just a different set of numbers than the first set it is a smaller set it only has 80 in it but these 80 are not 80 out of the 120 i have already got so it's not like with arteza you can buy a set of 48 or a set of 72 or a set of 120 and one is a subset of the other and 120 being the biggest set it seems that the 120 that I owned these were not a subset of that 120 these were different colours I mean, like I say, some of the colours were very similar if we look at this mint green and take out this mint green in here they look quite similar but not exactly similar. If we look at the numbers, one is 32, one is 57. Let's try them on a bit of paper. Let's do this leaf. This is a very light mint green, that one. That's the original. And then this is what I call the candy pop set. And the colour is very similar. So, are they the same pencil? Are they just one shade down? It's hard to tell, really. The paintwork would imply that they're one shade different. But, it didn't matter to me. I was fairly happy. And, because I liked some of these really neon poppy colours that were in this set, I decided to buy a replacement set of these as well. So effectively, I now had 200 Brute Funa pencils. I had an 80 set and a 120 set, and I had backups of both. And when I bought the backup set 
of these candy pop ones as I call them. They cost me £9.89. £9.89 for 80 pencils. It's a really good price. So let's put these back in their box. So I now had 200 Brute Funa pencils and 200 backups of those Brute Funa pencils and I was happy. I wasn't actually looking for any more pencils. My husband for Christmas then bought me the Castle Art pencils. And these are a different thing altogether. There was 120 set. I think I even said in one of my haul videos that if I'd have known he was buying these, I probably wouldn't have bought the original Brute Funas. But he bought them for me. I do like them. I don't use them as much as the Brute Funa, but I, I have them now. Then people started talking about Brute Funa pencils on, on YouTube. And there seemed to be confusion because there was the set that I just showed you. And then there was also the ones that called the Black Barreled set. And I had no intention of buying the Black Barreled set. I had no intention of buying any more Brute Funa pencils. I had my 200 colours. I had my Castle Art pencils. They were my play pencils. I didn't need any other pencils. And then everyone started talking about these. Yes, the infamous square Brute Funas. And I bought a box. I saw them on, they weren't very popular then, I saw them on an American ladies channel and I looked them up on amazon.co.uk, they had them in stock and I bought them. I think I paid £27 for them at the time and I got them, I looked at them, I had a little play with them and I put them in the box behind me for swatching. I have a uh, box of stuff that I, when I'm bored, I will work through and swatch. There was no rush for me to swash them though because I was quite happy with my 200 round Brute Funas that I already bought. Then Brute Funas sort of name exploded on the internet and there was confusion because people were talking about the set and some of the big YouTubers were comparing these with other pencils and saying, ah, Brute Funas are not that good and all this kind of stuff. And I looked at the picture of the Brute Funas. I knew that my Brute Funas that I had were really good for the money, for £20. They were really good. And I looked at the picture of these Brute Funas online. Oh, let's get this tin open. Oh, there we go. And they looked totally different. In fact, they looked like Castle Art pencils. And not just a little bit like Castle Art pencils. quite a lot like castle art pencils now i did a video a while ago about are all black pencils the same and the gist of it was that most of them are but hold on a second these have got the same numbers as the other brute funas are these made in a different factory to the ones with the solid white co color barrels that i was really enjoying are these made in the same factory as Castle Arts and Creative Peak and the other ones that I talk about in my video with regard to black barrels? Or are these something different altogether? So, let's have a look. Let's have a look at number 56. Let's see if number 56 exists. Nope, no 56. So let's find one that does exist. Okay. So, I've found number 89 in these pencils, and number 89 in these pencils. And as you can see, the numbers, one has mint written on it and the other one doesn't have anything written on it because it hasn't got no names. But the numbers, let's see if we can get it in focus, are the same. 89 and 89. Let's have a look. So let's have a look. I am surrounded by pencils zoom you in and now we're comparing the black barreled brute funa with the solid color brute funa and they're both in the color 89 and i will say something at this point these pencils are very different you can see the ends are different the paintwork is different and the size of the core is different the core in the black barreled one is thicker but let's see if two number 89s match. This is the black barreled one, first of all. Now, these are not bad pencils. They're quite 
soft, nothing wrong with them at all, quite nice to use, similar to the Castle Arts, and then this is number 89 in the other one. Wow, that's very interesting isn't it? They are very similar, even though they're different pencils. That green, which is nowhere near a mint green, is very similar. So are the two number 89s the same? Are these the same pencils? They certainly don't look like the same pencils. So now we have two different types of Funa pencils. The ones with the solid body and the one with the black body. And there's people on the internet are saying, oh, I don't like the Brute Funa, I do like the Brute Funa. And which one are they not liking? Are they liking this one or this one? And to me, they're they're both the same, they feel the same. They feel the same when you colour with them. The bodies are different. These ones actually feel like better quality pencils. They're thicker, they've got the end caps. But when you're using them, they're soft, they're easy to use. They're all right pencils. Both of them are all right pencils. So, are they the same? Are they not the same? Do they work the same? Do they not work the same? Who knows? Either way, I was happy with my 120 plus my 80 Brute Funas. And then I went away on holiday. And when I went away on holiday, I decided to take the square Brute Funas with me. And I decided to swatch them. And swatch them, I did. So they're now in this case, and they're all swatched out. Yes, here they are. Oh, hold on a minute, or are they? That's 80, number 80 in my round uh, Brute Funas, and that's 80 in my square Brute Funas. And that's 49 in my squares, and that's 49 in my rounds. And that's number 2 in my rounds, and that's number 2 in my squares. Hold on a second. It seems that the round Brute Funas are not only the same core, they're also the same colours as the round Brute Funas. Now, I've ended up doing this entire chart and these are the colours that match exactly from the 120 round set with the two, the 120 square set. So all these colours match. All these colours match. And these have got the same numbers. So here, what I've done is basically, this is this is half of this, this square here is 022 in the square and 022 in the round. 021 in the round, 022 in the square. All of these are. Now some of them don't match. So here, um, this one here, 108, and it's 108 didn't match. So I tried it with 101, it is, it is a kind of match, but the, the majority of them match. So for example, my favourite, 43. Let's do number 43, and this is 43 in the round. Let's bring it out so you can see. 43 in the round, it's a lovely green leafy colour, love that colour. And let's find 43 in the square. It's definitely in here somewhere. There it is, 43, up the top there. Exactly the same colour, exactly the same feel 
exactly the same core. These are the same pencils. So, we've even got the same white paint underneath there. Therefore, this is why I'm saying I don't recommend the Square Brute Funas because the Square Brute Funas for 120 their run of the mill price is tw over £20. The round Brute Funas, which are the same quality and on a weird square shape that you can't fit in all the sharpeners, are usually sub £20, are usually sub £18. In fact, when they do the deals, which they often do, you can usually pick these up for around £14. Now, as I said, not all the colours are the same. The 120 square colours that you get are not the same. 120 are not all the same. So, that's very interesting, isn't it? Brute Funas, the enigma of the pencil. Are the rounds the same as the black barrels? Are the rounds the same as the squares? At the end of the day, the square, why I don't recommend the squares is that you can get the same quality pencil in the rounds for a lot cheaper price. And let's, let's just finish off by doing another one of my leaves. Another one of my leaves in the round. Lovely, love these pencils. Nice and soft. And of course you've got the, the 520 set now. Is it 520 of these? Is it the full set? The full set of colours? that everything else is a subset of and then this is the square same same consistency same colour same so thanks very much for watching and if you don't like the square pencils but you like the feel of the Brute Funas Buy the rounds, save yourself some money. They're the same pencils, in my opinion. Take care everyone and thanks for watching, bye.